Hi guys! Welcome back to Get Your Play Online. My name is Mackenzie and today we are going to be making these really cool, awesome sun catchers. Um, so for this activity you are going to need some tissue paper. Today I'm going to be using yellow, a light pink, a darker pink, and a purple. Um, and then you are also going to need some plastic sheet protectors. I just got these ones from the dollar store. Um, you can also use parchment paper for this one. Um, that is totally fine too. I have some scotch tape and some scissors. Make sure that you ask mom and dad before you get some scissors. Um, just to be sure that you are using the right ones for you. I also just have some paper towels because this one kind of gets a little bit messy. And um, If you are doing this on your mom or dad's table, make sure you lay either a garbage bag down or a towel or something like that to make sure you don't wreck their table. Um, I'm just using my craft table, so I'm just going to use a, paper, a wet paper towel and a dry paper towel to clean mine up today. And then... I also have some Mod Podge um, and a paintbrush. Feel free if you want to use just some regular Elmer's glue, that's totally fine too. Um, I just really like the way the Mod Podge makes my sun catchers look really shiny. So I'm going to start some music and then we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut our um, we're going to cut our first sun catcher out. So to do this, I am going to cut my um, sheet protector in half. Be really careful when you do this. And make sure that you cut away from yourself. All right, so now I have half a sheet protector and I'm going to put the other one to the side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a heart shape on my sun catcher. Feel free to draw whatever kind of shape that you want to. I'm just going to draw a heart today. I don't know if you can really see it. Not quite. But I have a heart drawn on here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors really and really carefully um, cut these out. I'm going to cut the bigger sides off just to make it a little bit easier to cut my heart out. Whoops. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to start from the bottom and cut mine just because I think it's a little bit easier that way. And feel free to leave just a little bit extra around the outside of your shape because we are going to be cutting just a little bit off after we do the tissue paper. I'm going to put this behind a piece of paper so you can kind of see it a little bit better. See, now I have a heart cut out. So I'm just going to set 
my extras to the side and some of my scissors to the side. And then I am going to take my um, tissue paper and I'm just going to cut it. If you don't want to cut it, you can feel free to rip it or just tear it apart. That's totally fine. But I am just going to cut mine really quick. And these are really fun to put on your windows on a really bright and sunny day because you can see all of the colors shine through. Um, the window that I'm at is actually under some shade. So you can't quite see it, but it's still really pretty to put on the windows. And I am cutting up my tissue paper into pretty big sections um, just because I think it's fun to see kind of different um, colors and the bigger your sections are, the more light can shine through them. And so they'll show up a little bit better on a sunny day. And you can feel free to vary your sizes too. That's totally okay. If you want some really big pieces, if you want some really, really small pieces, um, that is a really fun idea too. Right, and then I'm just going to cut these in half because they're still a little bit too big for me. I'm just going to cut a few of these pieces in half. All right, so now we are all done with scissors for this part, so we're going to set those to the side. And then I'm going to take my Mod Podge. I'm going to take the lid off and then I'm going to take a paintbrush. I have a pretty wide paintbrush. You can use whatever paintbrush you want. It really doesn't matter as long as um, your mom doesn't mind you putting it in your glue or in your Mod Podge. All right. So I got a bunch of Mod Podge on my paintbrush and so now I'm going to put it onto my lid like that whoops just to make it a little bit easier to dip into just like that and then we are just going to put Mod Podge in sections of our heart so I'm gonna start on the top left part of my heart and then work my way around the reason we don't want to put Mod Podge all over our heart to start with is it dries really fast. And so um, we would have to redo it anyway. So I'm just going to do it in small parts to begin with. And you see how I'm doing it? I am getting extra on the outside. That's what we want because we're just going to cut it off to make sure that we get all parts of our sun catcher covered. And feel free to overlap your colors um, as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm going to overlap mine a lot. Um, just because I really like the colors that it makes when it overlaps. And 
And I'm not really doing a pattern on this one. I really like this one to be kind of random and all over the place. So I'm just going to kind of put the tissue paper wherever I want to. You can feel free to do a pattern or you can feel free to do it random like I'm doing. And when you have one section covered, you're going to take a little bit more Mod Podge, just a little bit, and you're going to paint over. You're going to paint over what you just put down. And we're going to take some more Mod Podge. We're going to get it quite a bit on our brush. And then we're going to do another section. Overlapping them, you can spread them out. Just make sure you get all of your heart covered. You can definitely feel free to start from the inside out if you want to. That is a great way to do it as well. Um, I just really like starting on the edge and working my way inwards. go and that section is done so we're going to take our Mod Podge again and I'm going to dip it into my big bottle again and then scrape off the sides and then brush it over the section that I just did to make sure that everything lays down because we want all nice and flat All right, so now we're going to take our last section and we're going to do the point of our heart, the very bottom, and then we are just going to put more tissue paper on it. have a spot that's not sticking quite right so I'm just going to put some extra Mod Podge right there. That's all you got to do. All right so now that I have my whole heart covered I'm going to give that bottom one last run over of Mod Podge and we are just going to give this a second to dry. So I'm just going to pick it up. And this is kind of what it looks like at this stage. You see how it's got some extra tissue paper on the side. We are going to set this to the side and let it dry for a minute. And then I'm going to take my extra tissue paper and just set it to the side. Now I'm going to take my wet washcloth. 
and kind of wipe down my surface. I'm going to take my dry one and wipe it down. All right, so now we're going to take a piece of paper and I am going to draw a smiley face on mine. Like how you see up here? That's just what I'm going to draw on mine. And there's my smiley face. So now I'm going to take my scissors and just cut it out. Just like that, there's our smiley face. Now I'm just gonna cut out his eyes really quick. Just like that. And then I'll just cut out his mouth. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my heart, except I'm going to do this one all yellow. I want mine to kind of look like an emoji, so that's why I'm going to do yellow. Um, you can pick to do whatever color you want. It really doesn't matter. You can be as creative as you want. And I'm just gonna cut these to size. My fingers are a little bit sticky, so from the Mod Podge, so the tissue paper wants to just stick to my hands. All right, so now that we've got our tissue paper all cut out, we're just going to do the same thing, and we are going to take some Mod Podge and put it in little sections. And for this, you are going to want to kind of cover the eye holes, and then 
I think it's just a little bit easier to just cut them out after you're done with the tissue paper. I need just a little bit more Mod Podge. I'm going to dip my paintbrush again. And this one, if you're doing the same color, it is really cool if you overlap them and make kind of cool designs out of the Mod Podge because then you can see it in the sunshine. So like I've done a few X's and just kind of like overlapping them in real cool, really cool patterns. I just dripped some Mod Podge. I'm just gonna clean that up really quick. Like I said, this one does get kind of a little bit messy with the Mod Podge. Um, so make sure you are being really careful and using something to kind of help you clean up your mess as you go along. Not want this one not laying down. There it goes. All right. Sure you are going over each section after you put down your tissue paper. Do the mouth area now. And then I am covering up the mouth a little bit too. Um, and then I'll cut that out when this is all dry. My fingers are starting to stick. So I'm just going to wipe them off really quick. And feel free to make different shapes out of this. Um, it is really as creative as you want it to be. Um, and it can be anything that you want it to be. I am just about done. I'm going to do the side of his face. I 
Now this one, if you aren't picking it up as you go, may stick. So you're going to be able to be careful as you pick this up. This is kind of what mine looks like right now. I'm going to let it dry for just a few minutes and then we'll cut it off. So I'm done with the Mod Podge. So I'm just going to close it, make sure that we don't spill it. Set my paintbrush to the side. And wipe down my surface. All right, so the last step for these is just to kind of cut the excess tissue paper off. So just cut along your outline, cutting off all of the extra tissue paper. Here. Just like that, we've got this really cool heart. So now, if you want to hang it up, you're just going to take your tape and put one piece of tape in each of the parts of the heart. Make sure you flip it over to the side that doesn't have the tissue paper. that and then you'll just stick it onto your window and just like that now we have this really cool um heart shape all right guys thank you so much for joining me today for our art segment um come back later to do our last segment of the week um we hope you guys have a great weekend and we hope can't wait to see you till next week. Um, make sure if you make these to leave a picture in the comments. Um, and we uh, hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.